Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins and this time we'll talk about all the best abilities and which of them you have to get as soon as you can. In Assassin's Creed Origins abilities are not just abilities. The majority of all these nodes in the ability tree is just unlocking new stuff to buy in this game will give you more XP or will just passively increase your damage or give you new moves to perform. And this is very important to know, because when you start the game you can't even parry your enemy's attacks, you can't even charge your weapon to do a charge attack and you can't even buy certain materials to upgrade your gear. You will first have to unlock all these abilities in the ability tree. The whole ability tree is cut into three different pieces with connections in between them. The hunter and warrior branch explain itself and the seer branch is actually not the same as an assassin branch. The seer branch mainly focuses on your economy and on your tools which you passively use to kill your enemies such as poison darts, sleep darts or even fire bombs. The most powerful assassin abilities such as a chain assassination are actually located inside the hunter tree. The first abilities you should actually get after your three starting abilities for every branch is the regeneration because regeneration of course refills your health during combat and the parry ability. You can't even parry in this game before you get the parry ability. Of course dodging is good but dodging isn't always the best, especially in Assassin's Creed Origins where you also have a shield equipped, parry can be very useful. And the charged heavy attack is able to break enemies guard and expose them to your attacks, so that is also very helpful especially during early game. And to make you an even better assassin you should definitely go for the dawn and dusk ability, this allows you to switch to nighttime whenever you need it, so that a lot of your enemies are sleeping which makes it a lot easier to kill them. There are also a lot of abilities which just give you more XP, especially for assassin kills, for streak kills, for headshot kills or even for kills with your tools, but all of them just give you a very tiny bonus and your precious early game skill points should rather be used on different things. If you desperately want more XP then just get the DLCs and boost your character to level 45, that way you will have no level issues, you can play the entire game and even start every DLC. You should rather focus on some of the economic skills such as salesmen, buying materials or even backstore. That will allow you to get more money for all the things you collected and you can simply buy all the needed materials to upgrade your breastplate to get more health or to upgrade your bracers or your stabilizer glove to deal more damage by getting all the materials from the blacksmith or from the weaving shop. That will save you a ton of time compared to collecting and hunting these materials and it is a much better way to spend your early game points instead of spending them on the small XP boosters. The best tool ability and probably one of the best abilities in the entire game are the sleep darts. You can directly get them after the dawn and dusk ability so you can skip anything else and directly go for them. And that is probably a good idea because they are insanely broken. You can simply use your sleep darts during a fight and make all your enemies fall asleep. And then while inside combat inside a fight you can go and assassinate them. This is super super op and it actually breaks a bit of the stealth mentality of this game because you don't have to be in stealth, you can just get discovered, throw a sleep dart and still assassinate that guy. That is so awesome and it is so much fun, especially if you do that on the big targets. You can just throw a sleep dart and get rid of them. This is so awesome and probably also one of my favorite abilities and definitely my favorite tool ability. Additionally to the sleeping darts you can also go for the fire bombs very early, that is my second most favorite tool ability and it is really fun if you throw all these fire bombs and see everyone burning, especially if there is a lot of oil pots nearby. The next big group of abilities you should actually aim for are the ones which improve your overpower attack. You already start the game with a basic overpower attack but you can make it much much better and much much stronger. To access all these abilities you have to get weapons bearer first. That is your gatekeeper for all the following abilities, which are the overpower ultra, which dramatically increases the damage you deal with your overpower attack and the overpower chain throw. With the overpower chain throw you can pick up the enemy's weapon after you killed him and throw it at a second target. So you can always kill two targets with your overpower attack instead of one. You can also unlock to get more XP for all your overpower kills and also get the overpower combo but I don't really find the overpower combo that useful. What will also dramatically increase your combat skills are the two adrenaline skills. There is one adrenaline skill right next to weapons bearer which is called adrenaline 1 that lets you start with half your adrenaline bar filled and then there is also a second one which is called adrenaline 2 that lets you start your combat with a full adrenaline bar filled. And that means whenever you are detected you can immediately start the rage mode or an overpower attack to kill everyone around you. Ideally you will kill everyone and you are back into stealth mode and the next time you are detected you can just do the same again. By starting every conflict with a full adrenaline 
adrenaline bar, you will be so overpowered and you get rid of every enemy so quickly before they even become a threat to you. In the hunter tree, similarly, the bow bearer is a gatekeeper to all your specialized hunter abilities. You actually have a ton of options here and I would really recommend you to go only for the bow which you really like to play with. If you like to play with the light bow then you can get the enhanced light bow which needs less arrows before reloading and for the advanced ability you can also get more damage for every arrow that hits your target. Which is especially useful when you fight against huge bosses, especially the elephants, you can get a really nice damage boost with the light bow. The enhanced hunter bow will allow you to break your enemy's guard and even pierce shields no matter how big they are and the enhanced predator bow will allow you to guide arrows and in the advanced version will also apply flash decay which is really nice because any enemy investigating your target will also get poisoned immediately. The enhanced version of the warrior bow will make it more precise and will also apply bleeding to your target but I still find this version of the bow definitely not useful. If you want to specialize in any of the four bow types I would rather recommend you go for the predator bow with the guided arrows that is probably the most effective one or even the hunter bow which is easier to use and still deals a massive amount of damage per shot. The best assassin ability is also hidden in the far left of the hunter tree which is the chain assassination which allows you to assassinate one additional target after your first one. This is especially helpful when guards are standing close to each other, you can just apply an additional assassination without being detected. It is not as strong as rush assassination which can be applied to up to 4 targets but it is still a must have for any assassin out there. Just one small warning here, don't go for Elite Ranger because that is likely the worst ability in the entire game. Killing enemies while in mid air is never an easy task and it is really bad if you even attempt to do it. The same also applies for both Fury because the time slowdown is so limited and so short that you won't even have the time to focus on your next enemy, not to mention actually killing them because that will likely take even more time and you will actually never make this work. There are a lot of other abilities especially in the Volra tree or even other tools I haven't specifically talked about because I find them not so useful or weaker than the ones I mentioned. And don't forget that you can further increase all your damage by spending points on the Hunter and Warrior Master ability. However, the damage will only increase by 1% per point you invest on them, but by the end of the game you'll have a couple of points left and you will just greatly increase your damage by 10 or 20%. It is not a major deal but if you continue playing you will just get stronger and stronger. You will fill out the whole tree by the end of the game anyway, but I really recommend you to get the mentioned abilities here in this video first, because that will make your journey in Ancient Greece much much easier and more enjoyable for you. I hope this was helpful and I hope you really liked this video, please don't forget to subscribe, leave me a like and see you next time.